Welcome to our beginner's guide on using Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi development board. In this video we will walk you through step-by-step -step process of setting up your board on Arduino IDE. Before we begin, let's take a look at the components you will need. You will need a SP8266 board itself along with a micro USB cable to connect to your computer. Let's get started. The first thing we need is the Arduino IDE, which is the software we'll use to write and upload code to our board. If you don't have it installed yet, head over to the Arduino website and download the IDE for your operating system. With the Arduino IDE installed, we need to add support for the ESP8266 board. Don't worry, it's a straightforward process. Follow these steps. Step 1, click on File and then Preferences, scroll to Additional Board Manager URLs and paste the following link, also available in description, and hit OK. Step 2, go to the Tools menu. Click on Board, and then select Boards Manager. In the Boards Manager, type ESP8266 into the search bar. When you see ESP8266 by ESP8266 Community, click on the Install button. Fantastic! With the ESP8266 boards installed, let's select the right board for our Node MCU. Connect your Node MCU board to your computer with the USB cable. Now, Go to the Tools menu again, click on Board, ESP8266 and choose Generic ESP8266 module from the list. Next, let's select the correct communication port. Go to the Tools menu once more, click on Port, and here you should see your Node MCU board listed. Select the appropriate port. You may disconnect and connect board again to identify a disappearing port. If your board is not reflecting, you may need to install CH340 drivers. Follow these quick steps. On your preferred browser simply search for download CH340 driver and install basis your hardware. Excellent! We are now all set up and ready to upload our first code. We'll use a simple blink code that will make an LED connected to our board blink. From files, go to examples, then ESP8266, and then blink. This will open the blink code on a new window. Let's scroll through the code and hit the Upload button to compile and upload the code to your Node MCU. Don't worry it may take a while to upload your code. Congratulations! You've just uploaded your first code to the Node MCU board. You should see the onboard LED blinking. And there you have it, you've learned how to set up the board on the Arduino IDE, select the correct board, upload your first blank code, and troubleshoot common issues. With the Node MCU ESP8266 board, your possibilities are endless, use the board to make creative projects. We hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more exciting content. Don't forget to share this video with your friends who might find it useful. Happy tinkering!